Hey, it's you. Come on in and join us. Oh, we're all quite mad here for this soap from Sterling Soap Company. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duo. Hey, welcome! We're so glad Thanks you're for joining. here. And for our mention today, we noticed that a couple of months ago, Sterling Soap started offering conditioner bars. And when we went on a couple of weeks ago, they had added a ton of new flavors. Mm-hmm. You alter their shampoo and conditioning lineup. Yes. We are giant fans of mm-hmm. these. And these, we have such a good time kind of mixing up the scents that we have going through the seasons. Yeah. So, of course, we had to be ready. Ready. We can't smell this one yet because we have to do the episode. I but know. we had Christmas Eve in the shampoo and conditioner bar. We we're like, well, we can't do it now. We have to save that for next year, right? obviously. And our barber shop was wearing off, so clearly we had to yeah, get yeah. this episode cranking so we well, could get our we've goods. We've been a little scared to like layer or mix and match scents before, but with these, the conditioner bars yeah. last about twice as long for us mm-hmm. as the shampoo bars. So it's gotten kind of fun to mix right? and match and see what barber shop and Duke might smell like together. Yes, you it's know? been actually really fun. So every time we put in an order for new soaps, we actually tend to add in and one or two more of these. Yeah. So. Oh, and when you put on the conditioner bar, let New it trick. sit for a little while. Give it a couple minutes, two, three minutes. If you're going to take a bath, leave it on. It will reward you. Mm-hmm. Awesome stuff. It really, awesome. it really is a new fun way to kind yeah. of enjoy taking Rod a shower and as Mandy, well. Thank you for continuing to innovate and be where value meets quality. Mm-hmm. And y'all, we do not mention price in the Barbershop Duet unless it's Sterling Soap Company mm-hmm. because it's incredible. Go check it out. As of right now, these are five for the shampoo and then the conditioners are about nine. Okay. So it's the math of like two shampoo pucks to one conditioner, they're pretty much the same. So yep. kind of fun. And for our soap today, yeah. our friend Craig and Scott Scotland told us, hey folks, I know it's labeled a female set, but witchy woman is just beguiling. And mm-hmm. we thought back to all the guys who love Duchess. Right. And we thought, you know what? Let's do a little bit of a deeper dive into some of these scents meant for the female. And we had a great time with Witchy Woman. That yes. was based mm-hmm. on a Victoria's Secret scent. What do you know right. about this one? And you know, I actually don't know too much about this one. I didn't read any do yeah, ma- any homages either. or anything thrown in there. Right, I don't think so. So, but it is listed on that site. And I was really hoping there'd be one for King, so we could have like a Duchess and Duke battle know, again. But we're just said. at the Queen Hearts. Yeah, so. We loved sweet stuff, y'all, because it was not a perfume. It was not yeah. overbearing. If anything, we just kind of decided it smelled like my sister's room growing right. up. Just sort of this vaguely sweet room. Mm-hmm. like So it was just like this really fun experiment. So I'm excited to see what Me Queen too. of Hearts might hold. Because while sweet stuff might have been a little bit more on the innocent side, mm-hmm. right? We have some friends that that's what their daughters use to shave their legs right? and they're in high school, right? This one might be a little bit more on the mature, elegant, mature yeah. side. Well, and you I'm know, just hoping. thinking Queen of Hearts, you automatically think roses. Right. But oh. Who right. knows? Once we start digging into the... I tried not to read the scent that's recently. I don't so remember we can be surprised. Yeah. But I am curious if it is more a throw into that direction. Right. We're going to find yeah. out. Somebody asked us the other day, do, do you want me to tell you and ruin the scent notes? And I said, oh, we choose our soaps based on the scent notes, but we usually don't look at them again until we shoot the episode. Right, there's usually so about a month or in so the between. Month, in the meantime, we forget. And if I remember, I usually tell you. Right. But, uh, so I'm excited. Me Let's too. meet the soap. All right, y'all. So sometimes Sterling Soap gives you the moon when it comes mm-hmm. to scent notes, and sometimes yeah, it's just a little bit vague. So what do we have here? All right, this is what we've got. Joker ain't the only fool that will do anything for this scent. It's an easy scent to love with notes. Oh, oh we can't You know what? Hold notes. on. It's Sterling. Let's read them now. All right. So we've got caramel, vanilla, y'all, berries, honeysuckle, amber, y'all, sandalwood, and jasmine. Wow. Queen of Hearts, indeed. Interesting, so, but no I, rose. I was wrong. There's no, not even a floral right. anything listed. Y'all, I'm excited. And okay. I'm excited because when Rod and Mandy create this feminine line, mm-hmm. it doesn't cross crazy over. It's not no, beating no, you no. over the head with something a man couldn't no. use. For me, it's just standing in front of the shaving mirror and feeling like I have my mom like in the other yeah. room and just kind of, or her like in the bath while yeah. I'm shaving. It's kind of a but nice there's thing. there's just that little touch of a feminine side. It's right. not overblown in your face. Right. Just a little female friend on your shoulder. So... I don't know. I'm curious though. This because reading these, a lot of these scent notes are in ones that are listed for more of the men. I know. So you know, it's not even crazy, crazy sweet things. Which sometimes you'd assume if it's going to be feminine, right. it'll be a floral, a sweet, something fruity. But from that list, I mean, <laughs> we. I guess we're just going to have to open the box. There is see, one uh, way to find out, y'all. Let's unbox it. Yeah. It's, it's big. big. 
it, it's it, big. It, it, I think this is new. Has it always said Sterling maybe, on the box? Maybe you have to get this big of a box. Right? We say. noticed there might be a few new things. We got a sticker last yeah. time. We Can haven't we gotten any stickers yet. Okay, look Ooh. for the red. Look for the red. Here's, here's. There she is, y'all. Don't don't pay attention to any of these future episodes. No. In the box. Oh, and we got a bar And we got a bar And a And a splash. Oh, and there's a sample there for y'all. If you are in the live chat right now, and if you are watching our live premiere, turn it on and say hi to us. Yeah, Put your hand up, you. and we will send you out this oh. Margarita's in the Arctic shaving well, soap sample. Y'all be the first one to ask, and we'll send it out yeah. to you. All right, we, look we at this. We have not gotten that soap yet, so we can't. Smell yeah, it. we can't smell it. There she is with no menthol because I didn't want oh, to get in the way of the female essence here. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's your turn for first impression. Now, y'all, full disclosure, today is actually Valentine's Day. This is. is how we chose to spend it. This is what we do for fun. All yeah, right, and what a better soap. Right. Okay, so this, I thought it was more like vibrant, like fire engine red. Oh, like candy but it's, apple it's red? Not. But it's not. It's, it's not. kind of has a fun, almost like salmon-y twist to the... A little more on the burgundy the... side? Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm getting wisps from the soaps yet or not. Maybe you better open this thing. Uh, do you have any idea what this might smell like? No, actually, even reading after those reading that, notes? like, I, you know, some of those scents were even in, like, barber shops. Like, they're not right. specific to a certain type of right. scent, which I kind of like. Well, it's almost like listing the colors that are in a painting. Well, thank you, but let's see how that you put them help. together. Yeah. Because it's at, that determines what the painting's going to look like, right? I'm supposed to go first, you sure? Mm, you're supposed to go first. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's oh, it's a medium color. Maybe pour. a little vanilla. God, these things are solid, fool, man. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it. This will be different. It, yeah, actually, though, what you were saying earlier, a little bit more mature-ish of a scent. Like, uh, I get it, because we coming from Sweet Stuff, yeah. we thought that had a little more fun, innocent vibes to it. This is definitely more um, the berry I get more than I was expecting. I really thought it was going to be more floral, fruity, just nice, by the name. But nice. there is a fun twist to the berry, and it's 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 a pretty berry right it's not too sweet it's not too light it's not perfumey is it berry centered you know there's something else with like the sandalwood jasmine side oh, something else okay that really makes it kind of there's like three things dancing together nice and in a different way that okay. i kind of if i had to pick something that it's not gourmandy but it's like a really really fancy uh fruit um, spread or like oh. something that you put oh. on like a dessert and it's that final touch of something that's like you can tell it's been in the pot for a while all the scents are blended together I don't think this is going to be what I was expecting <laughs> no I don't think it is all but right. then there's the woods and the other stuff in there that then flip that so uh, yeah Queen of Hearts indeed well I have to ask Thirsty if this okay, is an I, I, I'm curious to see what you're going to think if I can oh. be totally off base here once we lather it sometimes it changes too but Straight up the puck. And we got the splash. And we got the bar different. soaps and the yeah. I'm just gonna see Constant viewers know I love what the smell of the Sterling soap base adds. It just adds mm -hmm. a tiny bit of character, but it yep. adds a tiny bit of identity for me mm -hmm. to and a lot of the Sterling soaps. It's sets. definitely and in this too. I'm curious. Uh, different, wow. right? Not, I mean, not what I was assuming, which is fun. No. No. <laughs> And I like, I like for the feminine sense, they're not a five intensity. No. Mm -mm. It's a 2.5, maybe a two. It's going to be a little gentler of an intensity. Mm -hmm. There is like a, there's not oh. an evil side to oh. it. You know, I'm well, you know what's like funny? A, I sort of darker? almost pick out apple. Like my oh. brain almost takes that berry and it's so delicious that I kind of smell berry. If it was a rose, and it would right, smell more like an apple. Yeah. And that's where my brain goes with this. Like just, just kind of right off the top. Right. It's it's sweeter, but it's not like Ormondi no. sweet, right? And it doesn't need to prove its sweetness. No. So, you know, they named the sweet stuff correctly. That starts with just, like we mentioned on sweet stuff, we couldn't really tell any of the scent notes. It just had this encompassing, beautiful, sweet scent to it. Mm -hmm. But this, this is different. This has got those scent notes, and it's being made with something more natural. Right. I'm not feeling this, like... It's just sort of overbearing sweetness to it. Right. I'm sensing you're needing to dive in and explore these little bits and corners a little bit. Yeah, there, and it's funny because the more you smell it, then you see what comes around it. But at first, oh. this is like center zone. Right. I got the berry, but then there's something else right. that's happening around. It's not. Mm, it's not mature matronly. 
So no. if you're thinking this no. is turning into like a Downton Abbey, mm-hmm. Queen no. of Hearts kind of scent, Mm-mm. it's not. Right? No, no, no. No. This is like 20s, 30s. Yeah. So if the even... other one was like teenager, this right. is like 20s, 30s right. kind of a scent. And something lighter. Something you would only like put on for yourself because it smelled good. Does that right. Make sense? Right. That's what I mean. It's not perfumey. It's not like, oh, I'm going out oh. for the night. But there is something, like there's a little bit of a confidence part right. that I can get, like the Queen of Hearts, she does her own thing. But there, it, it's, it's, um, it's still kind of savory. There's a fun part to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, there's a sophisticated level. That's a good word. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? Right. You could be taking this sweet stuff and just kind of leave it kicky and fun and sweet. But right. once you can take that sweet stuff and start to adapt it and start to, well, mature it with some right. woods and with some other notes. Oh, this is lovely, too. Smell that's a little bit different. Oh, I do enjoy this, yeah. Ooh, this it is, is a, a little quick, different. Look at the shampoo bar and the different mediums. But as it? you're smelling this, could oh. you still shave with it? Oh, 100%. Right? It's not like oh. it's too far off Oh, the no, I would love this. In fact, this is kind of what I would expect, like, a shaving soap off, uh, that you would buy over the counter at, like, a right, drugstore. Right, right, like, not would generic, totally but, like, smell like streamlined, this. kind of, right. yeah. No, I'm with you, and it has... Do you get a little bit of a green note from that? Oh. A tiny hint of vetiver in that one? Maybe. There's something a little, little there bit... There is. There's something a little bit more playful under the surface. A little greeny. Well, I oh. just, you know, think of the Queen of Hearts playing on her grass and right. all her roses and stuff. Oh! Okay, you know what? I'm really starting to be able to pick these out now. Let's take another fresh look at these scent notes. <laughs> Alright, so this is my custom honeycomb lather bowl created by the hands of Monica at Vanulay mm-hmm. deep in the heart of Texas. If you are looking for a custom lather bowl, she will put it yeah, together for you. Yeah, this is the three color one. Beautiful. And then this is our Sterling 24 mm Why color. not, mm-hmm. folks? Jerry Plessy, the Shave Dad, a group on Facebook. Check it out. Uh, he advises the newbie, get a smaller lather brush so you can see a little bit better what you're doing in the bowl, right? Kind of show our Look at here. that. Y'all, this Sterling Lather, when our godson came over the other day and he needed a lather lesson, this is what we reached for, mm-hmm. for her folks, too, actually. It's waking up quickly. <laughs> Y'all, do you ever experience this? Do you ever have your nose a little baffled when you first smell a soap? And over the next few minutes or hours or days or weeks, Time your it. nose yeah. learns, learns how to find it. It's kind of cool. We've had that with a few different soaps of like things that were new to us that we didn't really have scent memory yeah. assigned to, if right, that makes sense. Right. And the other funny thing we noticed the other day, too, when we're standing in front of our locker and we have analysis paralysis and we can't really decide what we want to put on, we almost have to stop listening to our head and listen to our gut because it's something down here that will say, you need sharp dressed man. You're like, really? Right and I'll now? be like, but I was thinking like darker tobacco and my gut will say, I know. But you want sharp dressed man. And it's never wrong. Yeah, it is it's interesting. Never it's wrong. never what I think like after we do an episode, I'm like, oh, I really want to use that one. <laughs> right. And then that's not the one I ended up picking. That's looking beautiful. I'll show the people. Look at this so lather. Happy, Y'all, well, I know we never happy. comment on lather here at the Brown Shot to Ed, but the Sterling Lather mm-hmm. gives the brush an Elvis haircut. All right, okay, so let's, let's start at the top here. Again. Are you getting caramel? I am, but it's not yeah. a very, very. It's um, it's kind of in the background. Right, it's, it's right. It's like a base. It's it like is. a base note. If it's, caramel could be a base note without right. it being burnt, it's mm-hmm. not a burnt sugar. It's just a lovely, perfect caramel. Yeah, and it's almost close to a butterscotchy. Kind yeah, of vibe. and it's hanging on to the vanilla because caramel yep. and vanilla are super related. Mm-hmm. And then, so now smell it here. Yeah. The berry is different. I don't. It's, I don't get what natural berry it is. I think it's a combination because yeah. my brain's going. Is it strawberry? It's a little bit no, is it cherry? It's is a it... little bit cherry. Right. right. It's a little bit in the middle of those. And that's why I think, why I, think I, I was getting like fruit spread in my mind because I couldn't pick right. which one it was. But there's definitely they're blended perfectly. But they're whatever. all lighter. There's nothing too no. like mm-hmm. you know um, a lala berry. There's nothing too like no, super no, no. dark in this. Not like a pie mix. No, no, no. And then I do get the honeysuckle oddly, but I think that's what's giving it sweet. With that's the, the light ish. note that I'm getting is that gorgeous honeysuckle, and it's very a very hidden floral, but just oh, enough to add that feminine right. little hit. And then this is where it switches because it goes then, amber, as if for the boys, just mm-hmm. a little bit of amber to keep it. Yeah. Sandalwood, a little bit of amber and but sandalwood to be amber, friends underneath. The amber, sandalwood, and caramel. Right. Oddly, those three are really an interesting yes. mix here. Yes, because they form the base and they, they let the others stand mm-hmm. on it. And they then there well. is a little jasmine hit, but and it blends. You know, I get the jasmine a lot. Mm-hmm. I get a, I get a nice healthy dose of the jasmine. And it's what brings all of it into keep that. That's what makes it more mature. This brings it into more of a twenties, thirties smell. Yeah, this, this I, I makes really, I identify with this well. Yeah, so right. it really fits like my age range. I think, and it has, um, it has parts to it that are. 
feminine, but yeah. they're not overpowering, which no, I like. It's not, it's not in, your, in face. your face. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it's just subtly feminine, but beautiful in a way that anybody would love it. Because it's funny. I oddly get defensive if I'm been given like, this is the feminine right. sense. Like I'm supposed to like it. Right. And I don't get this with this vibe. I yeah. do enjoy it, but it's not over the top Proofy, right. girly, two in your face. That's feminine. a really interesting point because let's have a corner conversation. Barrett the other day sent me a sample of Layton. I thought for a second it was a perfume, not mm-hmm. a cologne. And when I smelled the sample, I couldn't get enough. And That's I kept true. thinking, oh, if only this were a little more this, it could be a cologne. Oh, if only this were a little more this, I could wear it. Oh, if only this were a little more something. And then I did a little more of a deep dive into the original. It's Layton. It's a unisex fragrance it's meant to you're be allowed to like it and i went oh my god i had just for some reason my brain had put this in a feminine lane because i had read that right. mistakenly and i instantly was thinking why i wouldn't like it right but as soon as i read no y'all this was intended by a right. really important cologne house mm-hmm. to be unisex my brain all of a sudden went oh this would be amazing on you right so the other fun thing is Rod and Mandy are a husband team right. that do it. And I'm pretty sure they met in the military, which right. is kind of fun because that's no not nonsense. the normal yeah. feminine stereotype. You know, right. you got to be able to break those barriers. So there is something that I do trust with Sterling having that as our, you know, backbone of the company. It right. is kind of cool to know her nose obviously had to approve of it. So yeah. not that, that she's not allowed to be feminine, but it is funny. That level of honor right. In, in the wet shaving world, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to find that line to be feminine, but not too feminine. And right. I do feel right. like this scent is a great one for that. Right. Yes. So I'm really glad you said that because I think the idea of like a super feminine scent has changed in the last I 10 agree. years. And I think same it's changed thing for a super lot. masculine. Like a lot of the cologne yeah. homages that we've gotten that were more like 90s based, yeah. they aren't the stereotypical no, masculine scent No, the really heavy anymore. leathers I think have right? seen, have taken their final battle. So it's it. interesting for you gentlemen that want to find stuff that your wife or your daughters or someone can enjoy. These have all been great that we've tried so far. Yep. I'm kind of been fun and surprising. I gotta admit. And Sterling has a tab. They do. For the ladies. Y'all check it out. Okay, I'm ready to dive into this. Ready? Yeah, let's see what happens here. This sometimes makes me, because without the menthol, you can get a little hint of other things. Indeed. Oh, oh I love this. Alright, this is Valentine's okay. Day, man. Oh, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Let it dry. Yep! Oh, see, this is new, too. This is fun. Yep! That's different. Mm-hmm. Whoa, wait a minute. I gotta do this way. Yeah, do this way. The Marcus way. Oh, greeny. Greeny. But wait it's still. No, no, no. Berries, amber, sandwich. Are the amber and the caramel and the what berries. What is that on the dry down? Do you smell that? I really smell it on you. That's oh, different. Right. Oh, maybe something in the masculine chemistry. Maybe right? does that. But that's super fun. That is really fun because that's totally different. At least not on you. It's not there. That's uh, that. I almost get a cinnamon. This I'm right, getting a I'm better. Getting, like the honeysuckle, <laughs> caramel. Dear Barry? Rod and Mandy, what how kind did of you magic do is this? Happening oh here? my land! Can you put that in the bowl? <laughs> okay, only because when I smelled this one, right? That's crazy. Now, now smell what you're smelling right. on you. It's a it's little. It's not there. No, I know. It's it's fun that it's. What is that? Whoa! It's like a greeny smell. They go in there with all the others. That's bananas. Whoa, because I don't sense it in here. Beautiful. But it's a little Beautiful. in this one, that green? Yes. Yes. That's and that's one. what I smelled before. Yes. I don't it's not a veteran, but it's something along that Right. But think about the Queen of Hearts. I'm thinking, you know, she does. She had that big playing field with right. the brass and all that. It's just things. like it's it's the jasmine as if the jasmine were very young. Right? It's not like a mature flower. It's an early flower. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just want to like, see. So it just has just a little bit of the bitterness area. of nature as the flower is developing into a flower. Does that make okay, sense? Okay, yeah. Is there like a time of day you're getting with this? <gasps> oh, I, like afternoon. Yeah. Beautiful afternoon. Like literally walk. the queen of heart playing in, in the her. sun, right? And then that, that oh, okay, that with that green, that beautiful green is almost gone when it's dry. Okay, now smell yeah. it on my arm now that it's dry. Woo! Oh, oh. That's different there. <laughs> You know, this is a trip to Wonderland, where as soon as you take a left, you're in a whole different world. I was just going to say we should take it deeper, but maybe we're going to Down the rabbit rabbit hole. hole. (laughs) This is bananas. I I don't know. I don't know how they did this. Very different forms. And very different in the soaps. 
very different from the, this is like Mary Poppins a medicine bottle yeah. when it goes on me I get this beautiful green <laughs> flower stem like sense and wow. put it on you I get almost a cinnamon well, and feminine it's, it's spiciness it's super funny because I just got hit with such deja vu when I was in college I did a dance with my friend or my friend Cole choreographed yeah. a dance and I played Alice in Wonderland that's right and my I've friend, seen the yeah, and my friend London played the Queen of Hearts and, right. we, and it was just like I just got hit by deja vu like wow I really do feel like I'm in an activity when I smell this. Oh, I right. don't smell leisurely tea party. Right. I feel like I'm doing stuff. I'm adventuring right. around, like climbing all over the world, like Alice, or I'm out in the field, like the Queen of Hearts. Like it does. It's right. not a dainty sit still no. smell to no. me. And y'all put in the comments. Once it's dry, the green is gone. The green is gone. But it's smell. still like a refreshing smell. Yes, it's still there on you. It's a it's fresh. It's still there. Smell this because it's kind of dried. Interesting. Gone. Now, we know this happens sometimes because there's a splash that we have from Barrister Man. And when we put it on, when we smell it wet, it doesn't smell like it at all. Right? But when we put it on, it dries. We're like, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so, so now that we know we have the shampoo puck and the bar soap, you don't feel like you couldn't not use this, right? Oh, I'm using it tonight. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, I'm glad I had to put a lot of spray in my yeah, hair yeah, for this episode. Because now i got to wash it out a little bit. we got to bust this bad yeah, boy in Y'all, here. if you're afraid of this messing with your masculine vibe, it's not going <laughs> to. No. I, I do enjoy knowing that it's something that I can vibe towards. Right. You know, that it does have something that does connect to me right. personally. Yeah. Like, it does feel like a scent that I would right. enjoy. It doesn't feel like it's being forced on me because it's under the feminine tab. Nope. And, it does and, feel refreshing, and I do feel like it's got room for activities. Like, I want to go do something smelling so many, so many activities. activities. And, y'all, let's not forget that Old Spice started as a perfume for women. True. Right. And the guys just smelled it enough they and bought enough it. of it where Old Spice went, oh. Okay, it's yeah. for guys. So when it comes to beautiful scents, there's not a lane like like I mentioned with the with the latent perfume phenomenon, mm -hmm. right? Right. I put it in the wrong box because my brain already just automatically thought it was only for women. Mm -hmm. So there were parts of me that didn't like it. And there were parts of me that were like, I wish this had just said for men so I could like it. True. Y'all, it is a brave new world. If you want to wear something, it doesn't matter who it was made mm -hmm. for in the old days. Because now, our noses have learned to appreciate all scents in all forms. And when I wear it, it's going to smell a little bit more masculine. When she wears it, it's going to smell a bit more feminine. Yeah, and I do enjoy that. When you throw it on and I throw it on, it's yeah. a totally different really scent. Like different. It right immediately connects to us personally. Right. Like hearing Frank and Lady Ella both sing the same song. Right. When she sings it, it's going to be a little more feminine. When he sings it, God knows it's going to be more masculine. And right? that's how these work. But I, I really enjoy that. You know, we picked it clearly yes. off the labeling. But I like being taken for a ride and being able to get our noses on it and realize, like, we were kind of right. That right. it does fit into that zone. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be a schoolgirl studying her poems near a stream in London. And you're going to catch, out of the corner of your eye, what might be a little white rabbit. And is he holding a pocket watch? Well, he's going to disappear down this rabbit hole. And if you accidentally lose your footing and go in after him... You just got your own. Head over to sterlingsoap.com where you can find this and a wide range of other products. everyone queen of hearts left a mark we did not expect that but we did end up getting it in a bar soap and a shampoo puck and conditioner and we really enjoyed having this one come around after the dry down with the aftershave splash has a whole new twist on it too so i have gone back to this to shave with and it's really really enjoyable the trusty sterling lather was there left it so we can get a nice good shave and i have to say i was really impressed by this i know it's meant to be more of a feminine thing but even though having the bar soap in the shower i know marcus has enjoyed it too so I gotta say, a nice, awesome way to hit spring and even summer coming. This is a great scent. Welcome to Messages! So y'all, our last three Sterling episodes have been amazing and they have all been based on recommendations. Mm -hmm. They are one of the artisans who have a large lineup Plethora. of soaps and splashes, <laughs> and they change throughout the year. They go in and out. Right, they're so, very good at sending the emails to update. So, right, yeah. we need to know what your favorite Sterling soaps are so have that we, we can make sure yet? to cover them here or on the show. Yeah. Right, and when you see the new release email from Sterling come across your feed and it has a soap that you particularly like, let us know Send so us that we vote. can cover yeah. it because that's how we're finding our favorites. Mm -hmm. 
It's kind of fun that we ended up filming this on Valentine's Day. I don't know where it's going to land in the schedule, but it's kind of fun for Valentine's. We spent our day with the Queen of Hearts. Right, just our own little way to celebrate. But what a beautiful scent. So different in the splash and the soap and the bar soap and the shampoo. And, it, you know, it's kind of fun. I I have to say, I would wear this and watch the Queen of Hearts, the movie. Oh, this would be fun to watch Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland, Maybe not the Tim Burton, the original animated. Walt wasn't a giant fan of that. but I. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, it would just be fun. I feel like this does have a whimsical side to it. Yeah. That I wasn't expecting, but then there is that other mature twist to it that's kind of fun, That's too. a good way to say that. This definitely has a whimsical side, but it also has a really, like, sort of grown-up, sophisticated side, Right. It's, it's not like the innocent, playful side, right. but it does have that, like, kind of little ode to your imagination right. going on. And Reverend Dodgson's Queen of Hearts didn't look like Elizabeth II. I mean, right. no! That's she true. has her own unique look, right? So does this. Unique so is a good word, though, too. That guy, This does have a unique side to this. I really oh, am sure. curious. If you have this, put in your comments and see. let me know what you think. Think because I can't be the only one that just got my nose on this. Keep wow. us posted. So. Don't miss your next appointment with the barbershop duet. You'll smell better just watching this.